Well, guys, I don't understand the ridiculous bail condition for Very Dark Man. Check this out. They said, Very Dark Man in a heavy bail condition, a property and a business owner in Abuja with a government seal of oath and submission of international passport for one year plus 200 million naira. 200 million naira. We are very dark man. Forget that kind of money. But this might be ridiculous. And this might not be true. Like everybody is trying to cash crews. But this is so far Dr. Queen Rita who posted this. And this is said to be very dark man's bail condition. Well, I do not believe it because normally you have to charge someone to court before the court we set a bail condition and very dark man has not been charged to court yet not be charged to court yet and again we are hearing information that it might not be to to dick and bob Brisky that got very dark man arrested or the other women bleaching cream that is someone with higher power that got very dark man arrested someone with bigger power that got very dark man arrested of course, we know Very Dark Man has stepped on so many people's toe. Even going as far as going to Joss uh, to video that uh, village where they have uh, uh, natural resources, uh, uh, natural resources there. You know, people with higher power. That is the information gets to me that it might not be true to Dick and Bob Brisky that got, the, got him arrested. That they are just balling on the trend. That somebody, people with higher power, got him arrested because we were expecting him to be released on Monday. But the police are not saying anything. They are not talking about his release. Nothing, nothing is being said about very dark man. In this country, uh, it's either people with bottom power or people with higher power man all those people are those people you don't want to deal with in nigeria but tall power and higher power <laughs> well i'm still going to revisit this matter because very dark man's lawyer finally said something but firstly let's go to the united states of america let's talk about one of their superstar puff daddy Puff Daddy is currently on the run. So yesterday, yesterday, his house was raided by federal law enforcement uh, operatives. It was his, his house in Los Angeles was raided, and uh, the one in Miami also was raided, and the home and the new New York home was also raided. The one in Los Angeles, Miami, and New York were all raided guess what apparently they arrested him another news are saying he flew he ran to the caribbeans his his private jet was traced to caribbean <laughs> oh puff daddy is gone he's gone 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 puff daddy is far gone puff daddy is far gone you know the music executive uh, as was raided by the law enforcement operative in what in which in what appeared to be tied to sex trafficking allegation against him in recent months from different uh, uh, plaintiffs and according to fox 11 shared a video that appeared to show several individuals handcuffed near a, near the property and a couple of them appeared to be Didi's sons justin and king combs TMZ also obtained additional footage that show federal agents rooming up to Didi's by water. The video shows him agents standing on the boat and they too appear to be harmed. Didi is in a crosshair of law enforcement on both coasts of America as federal agency descended on East Beverly Hills home. Law enforcement source also told TMZ that agents of Overland Security are in the middle of raiding Didi's property. There are helicopters overhead and local law enforcement in, is also present, although home security is the lead agency. Well, guys, 
I think it's over for DDO. I think it's over for DD. I'm not saying that it's not guilty. He is guilty, but I believe there are a lot of people in in higher in, with bigger power that are way more guiltier than Puff Daddy. But you know, once your time is up, they come for you until the next person. Once your time is up and they feel like they don't really need your service anymore, you know, you are not that important, they come for you. They come for you and destroy you. PDD is finished. Puff Daddy is finished. Let's be honest. Puff Daddy is finished. Is finished. From 100 to 0 overnight. This is just less than 6 months now. He's going through this stuff. Started from uh, Cassie. His former ex-girlfriend. Who he already paid. And other people start bringing different allegations, allegations. All those allegations have been there for years old. But it seems like he has not stepped on anybody's toe. Step on all, all those, uh, the, the court, their secret court has not really, you know, they are not really fed up with him yet. But up to this extent that, up to this day, they decided to be like, you know what, Didi, we are fed up with you. We're going to deal with you now. Can you imagine? Well, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. Pop Daddy is gone. There is nothing anybody can do about it. He's gone. He's gone. He's definitely going to jail, man. To meet the likes of Arrow Kelly and the rest. He's definitely going to jail. Pop Daddy is gone. So let's check. After Pop Daddy, let's check who is next. Jay-Z or any other person. I don't know who is next, but Pop Daddy is gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Damn it. It's crazy. Pop Daddy is gone. Well, that being said, let's talk about, uh, let's go back to Very Dark Man again. Very Dark Man matter. And uh, the bail condition is quite ridiculous. And he's getting a lot of support from individuals who even just like from Kobana Chief Priest who wrote something about him, encouraging him. According to Kobana Chief Priest, he said, uh as an activist you must pass through this kind of process very dark man enjoy the process bro the end justify the means this is what you have always wanted always ready to prove a point regardless the only man i know that comfortably reject money is well no pain no gain one thing is for sure darkness can never overcome light see you at the top soon legendary all of horse great light all of us great lights see you at the top soon, legendary. All of us great people have passed through this process. Stand strong, brother, man, police. Man, police is our friend. <laughs> well, according to that guy, he said, very dark man is the only person that comfortably rejects money. Well, eh, many people have said that about very dark man before, that he doesn't really take money. If you offer him money, we tell you no, of course. Forget about the money. Honestly, that's really, really nice. So, even David Doe gave him money one time. He rejected it. Kobana Shepard gave him money. rejected it. So many of, of, of people gave him money. rejected it. Well, let's see now. You know, he's fighting against a good cause. All those women. <laughs> bottom power and higher power. Well, I will still support very dark man. And I wanted to free him. And meanwhile, his lawyer finally has something to say. Let's check it out. Bye. The love for the for VDM is so massive. Like I said earlier in the day, thank you very much, all the youths of Nigeria, every ordinary man on the streets, those who love morality, everyone who loves what VDM is doing. Thank you so very, very much. As you all know, as the legal counsel to our very dark black man, uh, Vincent Martins, Otse, we are doing everything possible to ensure that, that his freedom is secured. We all recollect that he was arrested on Friday 
and a complainant against him, the face that are made known to the faces that are made known to us were the same people who earlier wrote a similar petition against him sometimes last year, which took us to force uh, police force headquarters in January. Tonto DK, together with Yabo Ojo and Sam Clef, which petition was thoroughly thrashed and cleared. But it has now come to our knowledge that because of the pain of loss they felt that time, they've written multiple petitions to different departments of the Nigerian police force. He, he wrote to the FCT Police Command. They wrote to the gender unit of the Nigerian Force CID. They, they wrote to NPF Center for Cyber Crime Center, NCCCC. And, and we had already had an appointment to visit NCCC. But because of my movement to Lagos last week, Wednesday, and we scheduled to, to go today, Monday. Before the people, the officers from the gender unit of first uh, four CID visited his house on Friday, arrested him, and when investigation was ongoing at, at the Department of Gender Unit of the four CID, the town crier, the lady who sheds crocodile tears was going up and down within the building. My colleague was there in Abuja, making it known to the first CID gender unit, expressing his dissatisfaction with the people doing investigation there by telling them that he had already, she had already made another complaint to NCCC, that is Nigerian Cyber Crime, Nigerian Police Force Cyber Crime Center. And then the the DIG invited the people from the department of the NCCC, that is the Nigerian Police Force Center for Crime, Cyber Crime, to come and take him. And that's how he was taken away from 4 CID on Friday. And it was too late to take in statement at NCCC, NCCC Department of Nigerian Police. So he had to spend the weekend there. So early this morning, being Monday, in statement had been taken, and I say he has been granted bail. He has been granted bail, albeit on a very strict and stringent terms. Be it, let it be on record that he was already on bail when the first complaint was made, and we were there in January, and he never jumped bail. One wonders why police will have to ask for another set of shorties today. Then he, pro he provided a shorty, a level 13 officer. They refused to accept that. They said they needed a topmost civil servant, level 15. We provided level 16. And when the level 16 officer came, they said they needed two. I have the pleasure of telling you that our office contacted his family and they provided another level 16 officers. So we have two shorties who have already signed to take him on bail. But what stopped his release today was that the police said they were waiting for their most senior officer. Please, gentlemen and ladies, don't mind my voice. I have scatter and cold and cough. So hence, my voice is like this. So everything is set to get him released. And we hope by tomorrow, when, when the head of the police department comes around, his, his bill will be thoroughly perfected. His bill will be perfected and then will be released to you guys. So let us be patient. Let us be patient. He has not committed any offense that is not bailable. What he has what he is being accused of to 
me is a mere insult. It's a mere insult. He has not committed any offense. And one wonders in this country where we say we have a law against LGBT, one wonder why that law will be in existence and somebody will be in public displaying same sex activities, enticing young people into homosexuality in a country that has a written law duly passed by National Assembly. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I believe there are forces outside this country that are funding there are, there are there are forces outside this country that are funding homosexuality as African leaders have been compelled state by state with blackmail by Western world to accept homosexuality. It is against our culture and it's a total destruction of our value it is a total disruption of our value and it is not acceptable to nigeria i believe the police they will be professional enough to release your hero on bail and if they fail to do so the law will take its due course the part of the course of the law is judicial process and his family his well wishers are entitled to free protest, both online and offline. He has not committed any offense, and if he has been accused of committing any offense, he's entitled to his bail. He has been granted bail on stringent terms, and he has met his bail condition. Thank you very much. God bless you. I, he, he sends his appreciation to all of you for the, the strong support you have given him. He is proud of you and he promises to do more for his country. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so very much.